I'm going to do a video on the Ninja Fill Station. Because I've seen like no videos. And I think this is the best way to have air at home. Like to not have just the tank. So this thing's pretty cool. It's only like 70 bucks. I mean no, it's less than 70 bucks actually. It's like 50. And it's really high quality. It's by Ninja. And it's just high quality. And the other thing is... You have to get a scuba tank. Oh, without a frame. Jeez. Alright, and so you have to get a scuba tank. But that's not that bad because I picked this one up used for like 70 bucks. And you get a ton of fills out of this. It's easy how it goes on. It just goes like... You just put it on like that. Mine frame. Yeah, it just screws on, and then you just, you screw it on, and then there's a wasp to use, okay, and so you just, like, I'll just show you, this is my gun, I have a 6845, now scuba tanks only go up to 3,000, just telling you, but it's good enough just for testing your gun at home, I mean, obviously you're going to fill when you get to the field, but... So, the fill thing is right there. That's the only thing I have to say about this tank, is when it's cold, this isn't that good of a fill nipple, like, adapter, or, like, fill nipple receiver. And so, it's, it, it's, you have to keep it, like, inside, because when it gets cold, the metal contracts, and then it's, like, impossible to get your fill nipple into it. But so then what you do is you, like, turn on the scuba tank, make sure this is tight. And then I already had some air in the tank, but then you just close off the tank. You open the vent. And then your tank is full. Well, not full, but whatever. And so I'm not going to shoot because I don't have any paint left, but this is the way to go for, like, paint in, like, your own woods or something. Or, like, just if you're, like, you like working on your gun like I do. And so you like to have air at home so you can actually, like, test your gun once you're done with it. So, yeah. But the other thing is don't get this if you're not, like, uh, I just keep the tripod. But, like, scuba tanks, this is heavy. This is, like, an 80-pound tank. So if you're, like, a wimp, I guess, don't get it. Because tanks, if you drop a tank on the top part, like, on the valve part... The tank like explodes. If you drop a tank on this part, this thing flies off the tank, shoots across your like yard or whatever, and you might die. So like, yeah, <laughs> this isn't for like twelve year olds or whatever. And like, I was gonna get into scuba, so I bought a tank for that too. Was I out of frame the whole time? Yep. Yeah. Alright, so if you drop it on that, it explodes and you die. So yeah, 80 pound tank for like 80 bucks, fill station for 60, and you have a ton of air at your house. Scuba tank fills are like $5 or something, I don't know, and so that's the way to go for air at home.